Carol, thank you very much. Sorry, we're in mid-conversation with you with Francis Rossi, who is... We've had a few technical problems here this morning. Uh, you were liking that, aren't you? Please, yeah. You Hi. must have had, in your long and, and distinguished career uh, with Status Quo, mm. massive things going wrong on stage, guitars not working, that yeah. must have happened a few times. Yeah, that's a panic time when I've had a point where a guitar solo's coming up and the guitar's died. No sound? No, and everybody else is still going, and you just hope they... A few times they've just got it back in time for the solo, or they haven't, and you stand there just sort of... Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> It's, and the other night it happened, we had a four-minute four silence in the second half and it just... everything else could be heard but my voice and it's all about the, the singing and talking. And oh, so you so that you couldn't... No. You couldn't sing? <laughs> no. But the guitar, the, the guitar was being heard? Yes, what? part okay. of it. And the other guy with me was being heard. Various other things were heard and they were coming at a certain point but not front house. And there's that four minutes feels feels like forever. That is a long time it in a live performance. Here, yeah. Yeah. But people love it when things go wrong, don't they? Well, they do. They and feel they, like they've they, been involved in they drama. They're taking part in it somehow. Yeah. Should we show people the pic? The, show the image because this is a kind of a stage show that people will not recognise. They'll think about status quo and yeah, how you uh, used to perform. Uh -huh. Should we just have a look at what this tour looks like? Uh, it's coming up right talking now. Talking of technical <laughs> yeah. difficulties. Yeah. Here it is <laughs> now. It's so. There it is. Ah, there we go. This is not what people will imagine from you. And what I love about the sound of this tour is it's you acoustically. When you but also hear it. You're, <laughs> you're interweaving stories from your life, backstories yeah. from status like quo talk. songs. So is it you chatting as well yeah. as playing? I keep overrunning, I talk too much. And, and it came from a talk too much tour about, which we had for an autobiography. And I didn't want to play and I was talked into playing. Now I really enjoy that and I never thought I'd get to that situation and enjoy being in a small audience, maybe 400 people. And there's just something that maybe it's, I'm not used to it, so it, and it feels all new to me. Is it structured? Are you like, we'll do that song, then I'll talk about my childhood, then that song of my teenage yeah, years? It's a structured it? set, but just various things. There was a lady in the audience last night, she kept rubbing her nose like that. And it suddenly reminded me of a gardener I used to have who was this delightful ex-policeman. And so I went into that story, but I, I keep overrunning. And well, value for money. Well, that's what I thought, but I was told that people may have babysitters, which I thought was <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> people are coming to see me have got babysitters. That's quite funny. So I used to. But there will, there will be an age range, won't they, come in to see you? Let's because, just stay because off the that's age range because how... I'm in it. <laughs> that range. <laughs> the face falling off age, I'm in that one, and the turkey job. You look wonderful. Very dapper. Yeah, yeah we both walked we in this did. morning. Very, no, very dapper. It's got to have a wins and not. It's when I was 12, this all started to happen, and you went off it for some time, and I liked to. What do you mean? What happened when you were 12? You I just... became a mod. Ah. Then was at the time, and the first thing was this, the uh, winds are not, and I love the winds are not. Have you become, at uh, the age which you refer to yourself a few times, are you a philosophical uh, rock star now? Are, are, you, are you sort of quite Some, philosophical? Somewhat, and I tend to moan a lot too. But I tend, About what, for example? Oh, what, whatever's that. going on in the world that you think may be unjust. Uh, uh, for instance, last week, I got in the dressing room last night, and it said, please turn the lights off to save energy. And I'd just come through a, part, a new part of Leeds, fantastic new built offices, and, built, and the, the sun was shining, clear blue sky, the blinds were partially down, and every, every building was and so loads and loads of lights are on. And I think someone needs to do something. Or our cities are alight when they don't need to be. And you get really uh, old and uh, old. What, what, all the things old people said to, to me when I was younger and now seem to be doing... We all become the stereotype that we yeah, resist, I don't think we? that we resisted when we were younger. You yeah, kicking and screaming, I became him. <laughs> Including becoming a lot healthier than some of your bandmates, because we were reading about the fact that you don't drink, your bandmates drink, the tour with the band is exhausting. Is that part of the reason that you've decided to do this solo and just, and just hush things down a bit, not the stadium, the smaller theatres, and make things more intimate? Well, that wasn't the idea initially. It came about you know, in that way. I, th I find that the status quo thing, and it always has been kind of physical uh, and stressful. I don't mean stress. It's the body stress. Yeah. The, the, the tension goes on to get rock and roll tends to have that... Uh, this one tends to have a much more relaxed vibe. And I really... I think it's the difference. It's, it's so enjoyable, I find. Well, for me, I just hope they enjoy it. They don't, they don't fall asleep yet.
That's a good do. sign. Well, isn't they're it? old enough to fall asleep. <laughs> oh. Uh, Pip, there is a real fascination uh, about a status quo, isn't there? But, but, well, there are people who are not big fans of status quo, as you, you well know, and the people sure. who love status quo. <laughs> but everyone is sort of fascinated by the dynamic within mm. within the band and and all those stories. Do you, do you indulge people with that stuff? Do people ask you a lot of there questions? Is, yeah, there is a Q&A. On the first tour, I, I only ended up with two minutes because I talked too much. This one, I tried to get nearly 15 minutes and I encouraged them to ask anything they wish. And on the previous one, there were times I've asked about the colour of the guitar, do, do I, which is my favourite guitar, which favourite song, where I may have skipped over those. Well, no, whatever happens, some nights I'll expand on how what I think about it or I don't, I don't understand having a favourite song, a favourite movie. There must be loads of favourites, so I find it puts me on a spot. It's quite a brave totally thing to agree, ask, yeah. ask the audience to ask you questions, in Anything. a way. Because, uh, I mean, what's, what surprised you most by way of a question that you weren't expecting? Francis, are you my dad? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What was the I answer? Funny. <laughs> I just think that's funny. Like some, there was a well, lady some... Was it a serious question? Did you, did you scratch know. your head a bit? I, I don't think so. I hope not. Uh, there, was, there was one, a lady asked uh, where I was staying that night. And <gasps> she said, la. because she wants to know where to pick her mother up in the morning. So to me, that was hilarious. <laughs> and I like that, uh, that cheekiness. And sometimes, uh, uh, what, what am I doing now? Why am I doing this? Is it, uh, why have I, have I fallen so far? And I think... I did this because I want to do this. Is I that mean, really? Did someone sit in front of you in the audience and say, well, "Why have you?" Well, it was on why a grin and grips. Grin, you know, gaggers, grin and grips. And he said, "Well, what's it like? Pardon me, sir. What's it like? Then you've fallen this far." Oh, what? what? No, no. I enjoy doing this. I do. I'm going out with the band next year again, and I like this a lot. Tell us about um, the song that you remembered from childhood. This is lovely. So your parents mm. uh, played a song to you when you fell down the stairs and you got upset. And you talk about that on the tour. I used to fall down the stairs a lot, apparently. Skinny kid, large head. I was wondering why my mother was waiting. But why did they get <clears> a stair gate, Francis? And this is a long before the <laughs> stair gate. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they, there was this record we had called Papa Piccolino, which I remember hearing a lot, and it used to make me shut up, I suppose. And then I realised there's something in that style of music which can turn... You can, is in, in fact, the basis of it is a shuffle. It's going... Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. And lots of Italian music is... A -da -um -da -um -da. And, and uh, marches and such. It's so much in our lives, so I don't feel bad about status quo forever going... Dun, 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 <laughs> because it's in there. Maybe it's down to the Falling Down the Stairs song that status quo well, got their rhythm Well, I think it his head from. somehow, yeah, that's uh, had a bad effect, yeah. Did you used to sing lullabies to your children when they were little? Yes, somewhat. <clears throat> oh, Antonio, oh, oh, Antonio, he's gone away. I don't know why. I don't know that one. Do you know that one? Let I don't. Go. I sing to my kids every night. Did you sing to yours, Charlie? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, but I mean, nice. I was just trying to picture not, the scene. Cause not you... a typical lullaby, necessarily. Or like, Daisy, Daisy, something that may... And they go, ah. Yeah, think, it works, ah. doesn't it? <laughs> was it hard? I mean, obviously, we're going back a few years. Uh, but was it hard coming back off the madness of a tour and all that stuff? In you know to do that kind of thing just to be a dad was was that hard? Do you think about that quite a bit? I don't think I was a very good parent really. I don't think if we're going again to the age I'm at that people like myself should be allowed to have children. That sounds a little bit, but I've got eight children and most of the there's a, a song I wrote years ago uh, called Tallulah's waiting. My daughter Kira Tallulah. She hates Kira Tallulah a bit, but it was always about I'd speak to them and say I'm coming home. I'm coming home. So I was forever coming home. So I'm not sure that, uh, as a parent, I'd be a very good parent. So you think back and you... Is it that thing where you think, I wish I'd, ha I'd had more No, time I'd be lying if I said that, because I... There's something in people like myself that's about me, isn't it? It's the career, it's about the gig, the job, it's that important, that has to come first. Luckily, my wife doesn't mind that too much. I'm telling her she doesn't mind that, in case she's listening. <laughs> I was going to say, she's watching. <laughs> it's too late now, really. <laughs> but that, I do often think that that's possibly not right in our society, that we allow people who have these kind of careers to have children. But then again, it's a problem, do we stop people having children because they have mm -hmm. a career? But my and career it, has been important. It's the role model element, isn't it? Nobody gets it all right as a parent, do they? No, I like you. That's what I tell myself when I'm not there in the mornings. <laughs> uh, so if you want to hear... What just you found something. there in your... If you, um, if you want to hear more of uh, Francis' tales, your tales and uh, music and tales, isn't it? Tunes and chat. It's nearly there. Yeah. Tunes, is that what it's called? Tunes and chat, yeah.
There we go. Uh, there we are. It's up here. Uh, Francis Ross's tunes and chat. What did I say? Tails. I, I quite like that. I've tunes the and next tails. One. There we go. Write that down, somebody. I might need that Rennie you found in your waistcoat yeah, pocket in, in a minute. Is I'll that OK? I'll, 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 I'll rent you it. <laughs> Love to see you this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, time now on breakfast to get the news, the travel and the weather where you are this morning.